Hey everyone, Immature Gamer here, hoping you're having a fantastic day. This is another update video for Fortnite. This is update 3.3 version. Uh, it's about 1.4 gigabytes on Xbox. I'm sure it's similar on PlayStation. On PC, I'm not exactly sure. Just know there's an update. We're gonna be going over the new bug fixes, the new explosives they added, and the new supply llama. So let's go. Immature Gamer. So in this week's update, they've added a bunch of new things and we will go over all of that. I wanted to address something they did announce a few days ago that they are gonna be bringing Fortnite Battle Royale to mobile right now. It is not out. They are actually doing an invite event only on iOS. Basically, if you are an Apple user and you can sign up, be selected, or I don't know, they're gonna send you a code and you can try it out on mobile. They haven't exactly given those dates out just yet when that's gonna happen. I will keep you informed when I do know that. So uh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Could be fun. It's gonna be very hard to play Fortnite on your phone, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get into the brand new weapons and items they added. The Supply Llama was added. It's basically another loot box if you will, or um, supply drop. And it is extremely rare to find. There are only three created per match and the locations are chosen at random. When you open the treasure chest, it's going to contain 500 wood, stone, and metal, 10 stacks of each ammo type, three traps and consumables, consumables like potions, med kits, other things like impulse grenades, but you're not gonna find like a scar or anything like that in there. They are still very cool and I definitely would love to find one. I will post some gameplay as soon as I do. They also added the remote explosives, so it's a new explosive type. It's going to be rare. It will be found in supply llamas, treasure chest, floor loot, and supply drops. When you get one, it will be a stack of four and you'll be able to hold a maximum of 10 of them. Hopefully it is pretty cool and useful. Hopefully it's not like the smoke grenades, which just got vaulted FYI, because it's kind of useless in a way. We'll see. Hopefully you guys get out there and get some sick kills with it. I know I'm gonna try to. So the game mode they're adding this week is called Blitz and it is not enabled just yet on March 19th. It'll go live but the game mode Blitz has a much shorter storm time resulting in a faster and more intense matches. The match length is going to be actually 15 minutes. The match will start with the storm circle already closing in over the island. The loot availability, they increased everything. They increased the chances of treasure chest, ammo boxes, floor loot, supply drop spawns, and even your supply drop descent time is gonna be faster. And they also are going to increase launch pads, basically so you can get around the map faster. It's gonna be a lot a lot of fun i think and i'm actually looking forward to playing it hopefully you guys like it enjoy this game modes i do like how fortnite has been updating us every week and giving us a new type of game mode switching it up so let's go on to the bug fixes they improve server performance and reduce bandwidth usage when players are jumping they updated the no scope hunting rifles name to hunting rifle they probably should have done that in the first place you kind of can tell it doesn't have a scope when you use it but hey what what do i know right they fixed an issue causing the unintentional rotation of stairs which I am so glad that happened a lot and it could actually get you killed in some situations so uh, I'm glad they fixed that they fixed an issue causing an eliminated players collision to stick around temporarily making it difficult to pick up their dropped items I actually can't remember if that affected me or not I'm sure it has one way or another but that is fixed moving into audio they fixed gunshot sounds stuttering that would occur when firing an automatic weapon at low ammo counts and they also fixed the issue that caused gunfire and other sounds to play at louder volumes than usual in performance they optimized the shield effects on players to improve overall frame rate and that's basically it for the update they did kind of roll out a new tool for everyone at www.status.epicgames.com they added a new game update status page basically where you can go check out and see if Fortnite's having any issues and they will actually give you these specific issues and there's also a timeline of anything in the past that they did fix so that's pretty interesting i'm glad they're implementing that and lastly week Four challenges if you bought the battle pass and you guys are trying to grind it out they have announced it some of them look kind of hard some of them don't i'm kind of actually thinking about making some tip videos on 
maybe how to get some of these, how to finish some of these challenges. I will give you a little bit of a heads up or I guess a tip on reddit.com, basically the subreddit, Fortnite Battle Royale. If you're having any issues with these, a lot of people give some spoilers on there and can help you out. For instance, I know already that the ice cream truck locations, there's already somebody that posted a map showing where all those are. So if you're interested in that, you can go on that subreddit. But if you guys actually would like me to do some videos on that, let me know in the comments and I could. It's It won't be that hard. Um, or if you have just any questions, just write me a, a message and I'll try to answer that for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this update video. I'm trying to pump some videos out here. New dad, so uh, kind of busy. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm a mature gamer and I'm out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And thank you for watching. Keep the change, you filthy animal.